welcome Carrie Keegan, everybody. Carrie Keegan. Carrie Keegan, how lovely to finally meet you, and good Lord, you're wearing a dress, aren't you? I just wanted to make sure you were up and awake. Well, I'm up now, I can tell you that. I'll be walking in circles for the rest of the day. What? Oh, I saw that. I saw that what you were doing that. Did you hear Dr. Ross talking about avocados? Well, I, I did. I brought my own. <laughs> I think it's a different form of produce you're sporting. It might sporting. be, but, but my, the left one is, you know... Well, that happens with lower. the ladies, too. Yeah, that's quite natural. I've noticed that in my um, research. Have you? Yeah. How closely do you research? Been so lucky, I guess. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I think it's quite natural if it was all this sort of deep, well, self examined So, it's a lovely dress. Thank you, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, very nice. Wait a minute, it's a different colour on the back. It is, there's a whole thing going on. Look, oh, look. look. Oh. oh. It's cute. Yeah, it's very nice. It's color blocking. It's color blocking. Yes, it's a whole thing. I've heard about it. I heard you heard about that. Your wife is into color blocking. She was into why well, she was wearing a dress, and there was another bit on the bottom that was a different color. I said, "What's the bit on the other the on the bottom for?" She said, "It's color blocking." And I was like, it "Doesn't make. It just looks like an extra bit." No. <laughs> then I, then I shut up. Does it confuse you? Is that is that is it well, hard for you to understand? Yes, a little bit. I do. You know, sometimes I think women's fashion gets a little outré for me. Yeah, well, right. completely. Did you watch the Oscars? Of course. Wow, what about that leg sticking out of that dress? Uh, I thought you did it better. Oh, thanks. I, uh, <laughs> I think my legs got a little more meat. Is that true? Or are you just hanging to the right? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, I meant the actual... Uh, oh, I didn't, oh, no, the actual I meant leg. the leg. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Again immediately. Not me, I'm dirty. Doctor Oz was just out here talking about all kinds of things. He's a doctor. He's a doctor. He can say anything he wants. He can say anything he wants because it's medical. Well, I found out obviously why I'm not getting any dates because I've been doing it wrong all this time. <laughs> I always thought that it was three fingers of whiskey or something along those lines. <laughs> You're not getting any dates. <laughs> I think you wrong? told a not true thing there, no, it's, didn't you? No, it's very true. You're kidding me. No, it's very true. So, you know, I got the morning show gig. I was super excited. I'm moving to the big city. I'm going to New York. Right. And uh, they sort of forgot to tell me that it's a morning show schedule. What time do you start? I'm up at 4 and I'm in bed by 8 p.m. See, that's perfect for me. I got kids. <laughs> But it's terrible for dating. Yeah, no, I probably It's is. awful. Yeah, yeah. I end up going to restaurants at like 11.30. I have the early bird special. Yeah, I love all that, though. So what? I'm hanging out with people like you. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> what are you liking, man? What are you looking for in a young fella? Cantaloupes, mostly. Cantaloupe? You all, yeah. Oh, really? Avocado. Really? Does it, is it a concern of yours, testicle size? I mean, well, it should be, shouldn't it? Everyone should worry about these things. Because Dr. Oz says that it means you're healthy if it's a good sign. Well, right? I don't know that he necessarily... He just was saying he was talking about the design of nature because of the clickety-clacks. Oh, that's that, not. That whole thing, it worries me. What, what worries you? The sound that it makes. Oh, clickety-clack? Yes. <laughs> oh, no, they don't make much of a noise. Well, at least they shouldn't, but if they well, do, they maybe If they make a noise, someone. then maybe your gentleman's friend's older than he's telling you. Ooh. Mine are making a noise right now. No, no. no. <laughs> it's a bit rusty, but it's okay. It's okay. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you, though. You can yeah. take a joke. I know no, you I can. can. No, I can't. <laughs> Not when it comes to my avocados. <laughs> You know that you were talking about getting a colonoscopy. My mom actually just had to go in for one. Uh, and the night before she went in, What's wrong? Why are you questioning that? I'm not questioning it. I'm listening in concerned nature. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this yeah. is concern. I, okay, that face is confusing. Well, I'm trying not to look at your breasts as well. <laughs> yeah. I get that a lot. Yeah, I yeah. do. I'm, I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. Well, check this out. So she, what, she was, the, it was the night before the colonoscopy. They tell you you have to not eat and sort of starve yourself and drink Gatorade and flush and do all of that. Right. She 
passed out in the middle of the night trying to go to the bathroom, fell flat on her face, broke her nose in two different places, smashed her eye in the little orbit bone, whatever that is. Orbit bone, that's yes. what it's called. <laughs> that orbital yeah. thing, yeah. Can you believe that? Yeah. So yeah. I would say don't go for the colonoscopy, it's bad for because your it's a, you. Because you'll break your face? You might. <laughs> No, I, I think it's probably, you know, your, your mom probably should have, you know... Not done crack? I know, yeah. I know, but that's a totally uh, different... Anyway, well, you together. were going to tell me what you were looking for in a man. Oh, I was, was I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you might not be going to tell me, but you're going to tell me now. You know what? I don't have a type. Really? No. Hmm. Is that bad? Should I have a type? Should I start pigeonholing people so I don't no, get anything? I think that, but, but, but I mean, what kind of, what would you like to do? What do you, what do you do in your spare time? What would you like to share your interests with? Um... I have never been to the opera. So you want to go to the opera? <laughs> oh, that I might know. be a gay dude you're looking for now. I do have a lot of gay friends. Well, of course. They all you, if you've got a lot of gay friends and you haven't been going to the opera, then I, I think there's... They're some, not gay enough? They're not classy enough. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Shoot. No. Okay, well, that... What about a skeleton? Looking for a skeleton friend? No, I... I, I yes. I, I was hoping that you would... <laughs> Can I, can I go over there? No, you can't go over there. No, no, no. <laughs> I can't get close. No, you can talk to him. Though. Hi, Jeff. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? You like older dudes, like dead guys? <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact. I like them, I like them a, little, a bit bony, like mm -hmm. you. <laughs> <laughs> what is that noise that you're making? Why don't you come over here and find out? I think he's leaving us alone. <laughs> you guys carry on. I'm just uh, yeah, yeah. Will you will you come to New York and no, hang out with me a little bit? Right you gotta start talking to him. He's gonna fire me right now. You gotta <laughs> <laughs> I phoned him. No. You, you like New York, Annie? You enjoy New I York? I love New York. You, know, you like the I, you smell of uh, what? Pee pee. In the summertime, it's yeah, yeah, nice. A little bit. It's sort what of part of New York do you live in? Waft. I live in the middle of Times Square. I know, and nobody actually lives in the middle of Times Square, but I do. Are you a homeless person? <laughs> I do like to hang out on the corner of 42nd, but don't judge me. I'm not That's... judging you. I do not judge here. Love all the people I say. <laughs> I used to live in New York. You did? Yeah, way back when, you know, horses and carriages and stuff. And... <laughs> I used to live downtown. Oh, there's a picture of that yeah. in my building. Yeah. There was like one building in the middle of Times That's Square. Right. And that, that was you waving. That was me the there. I was like, yeah. We used to wear our pants up to here and we rode big, big bicycles, one big giant front wheel and one tiny wheel behind it. <laughs> Just like our testicles were like that as well. One giant one, one little one. And we go around in circles. Do you have a bicycle? I don't. I gave away rollerblades. I haven't what had a bicycle. What do you mean you give away rollerblades? Actually, my rollerblades got stolen out of my car a million years ago. And that was the last one. I think a valet stole them. The valet stole your rollerblades? Lame, maybe, right? May, no, maybe he needed them because you have to go and get the car and come back. Possible. And go and get the car and come back. But then he shouldn't have gotten tipped and I obviously tipped him and now I'm pissed. You're quite a cranky woman, aren't you? <laughs> I have to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Hey! <laughs> hey! What the? You would be cranky too. You know, when I got up that early in the morning, I, uh, I was on a lot, lot of drugs. I drink a lot, but that's why they do called my show Buzz, yeah. Do, do you drink a lot? Yeah, it's a really? big morning buzz, yeah. Have you ever been to Carnival? No. You should go. I, I feel like I need to do a little more working out, I think, to be able to participate. Just wear that dress, you'll be fine. <laughs> I would be far overdressed. Those women wear, like, strings and a feather, and that's their whole outfit. You'd look great. <laughs> Yeah, I've done it before. <laughs> Back in the day. You have to We're out of time. What do you want to do? Always <laughs> mouth organ or big cash prize? Uh, well, he already did the mouth organ. He won. I can't top that. Let's do the cash prize. What time is it? Shout out Time for the big cash prize. You can win $50 in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign on it. Hey, don't touch the money until you win. I just right. need to weigh it out make sure it was even. Okay. How's it feel? We're good. Okay. okay. <laughs> Two ways to win. You can either answer the question or guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. You tell me what's in it. If you're right, Jeff will say yes or no. If you're wrong, something awful will happen. Uh, is your box clean? Has it been... <laughs> do, uh, you, do you, want, you, you want to go for the box? Hmm. It scares me. I know. Sometimes exciting things will scare you. Let's go for the box. Okay, go for the box. <laughs> Jeff? <laughs> I'm imagining... I'm imagining a box, Jeff. Okay.
Okay. <laughs> okay. What's in the box, Jeff? No, wait, no, you can't ask what's in the box. What? What? You guess what's on my the... side. No, you. it might be on your side, but that's not the point. That's not how the game works. It's my show! <laughs> I'm imagining a box, yeah, Jeff. I'm, I'm imagining a box as well. <laughs> what's in the box? A hamster. A hamster? <laughs> Richard Gere thing? That's a gerbil. It's totally different. Okay. <laughs> Not that I would know that. <laughs> that's just a rumor anyway. <laughs> Jeff, what is in the box? I am so going to spank you. It's a hamster. Oh! going to be great. You had Statham on your show. Yeah, I did. I love Statham. Me too. He's we really... a geezer. He told all, wow, oh, I'll mess you up. Do you know what's funny? Is he says his dad talks just like him. Well, yeah, there's a whole area of London people talk like that. Do they all, they all, really? Yeah, they all talk, and they all look like that, and they all live like that. They're all secret agents. I think I need to move. Yeah, what? Do you, are you like a bit of a... It might be the sexiest town in the world. London? Yeah. Parts of it are, as long as you don't... You know, how's, how are you with teeth? Uh, teeth okay? That's a whole stereotype. That's a whole no, thing. No, that's a real thing. <laughs> that's a real thing. You go there and it's like... I, I go back home, people are like, what the hell have you got going on there in your mouth, big man? Yeah, you have nice teeth. Yeah, American teeth. Did you get braces? N no. You were just born really handsome? No, I... Thank you. No. <laughs> I uh, moved to America and got dental surgery. Ah. No, there's good teeth over there. There are. Have you ever been to Europe? Yeah, I have. Where, I have. where have you been? I've been to London. I've been to uh, France? Wales. I've been to France. Really? Really. When you were in Wales, did you speak Welsh? Uh, yakida. That's all I know. I think that's Pakistan, isn't it? <laughs> means cheers. Yakida? Yakida. It might, it might actually, yeah. Well, then what do you know if I, I said I don't know anything it? about whales. This is just a waste of a question, then, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, We should probably go get those pieces nah, back. Yeah, no and point. They're LL Cool J <laughs> questions, anyway. Did you stare at his lips the entire time? His lips? Yes. No. I... What? Why? They did. Why? Because the man has the best lips in all of music. Really? He really, really does. I didn't... I didn't even notice his lips. Did you notice his lips? <laughs> Everybody... <laughs> you? Yeah, yeah. I never... I never... He's very well known for the whole... That thing he does. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do, you do that again. <laughs> See, if he'd have done that, I might have noticed. Then all of a sudden you would have fallen in love and well... this would have been a whole thing. You would have given him a double segment. I would have gotten bumped and I would have been really sad. Did you ever, have you ever had a guest on your show and then forgotten you had them on the show and met them somewhere else? Yep. And then pretend that you're like, nice to meet you. And they're like, I've been on your show like five times. No, it's never been that many. But if someone's been on once and then they, I'm not, it has, yep. Yeah. You feel like a jerk. Yeah, I know. That's what I but do. But the worst, I, like, the worst is when I've been on someone else's show like five times and then they're like, hey, it's really nice to have you. Good to meet yeah, you. Yeah, I know, but, yeah. And then you're kind of like, oh. I know where you are. I know where your head's at. But I forget, like, literally the second we do a show, it's, it's out of my head. Yeah, that's the best for me, too. Because then you start thinking about, was it any good or any of that rubbish? And then you go crazy. You're always very good. Just know that. Why don't you guys go and take a break? <laughs> do you have performance anxiety? Because I can do it in front of them. <laughs> Get 
I'm not, I'm not worried about an audience, I'm worried about witnesses. Oh. That's what I'm worried about. But it's all right, everything's fine. How is it that every time I'm on, I've been on the show before... Yeah, twice. Last time, once. We, once Three times. Five times. I look forward Whatever. to your visits. Me too! But um, it's always, we always end up talking about balls. That's... Uh, now, today... I didn't even bring them up! Today, you brought them up! you're talking about staple and scrotums to the floor? That guy did that I in know. Russia! Why you do Russia? people do that? No, I've never been to Russia. Oh, well, uh, let me tell you, madam, it's cold. <laughs> I don't like cold. I don't do cold very well. Well, it's a very interesting place. Which would also make the staple hurt even more. Or may uh, actually work as an anesthetic. No, know. it doesn't. Did you, have you lived... Well, have I ever stapled my balls to anything? <laughs> no. I mean, I grew up in Buffalo, and it's cold Oh, that's there. very, very cold, cold in right? Buffalo, yeah. And, and I know, like, I used to walk to school with my hair wet like an idiot. I don't know why. Why would I you do that? that? It would get ice on it. it you it catch a cold. It by the time I got to my class. And my fingers, if you hit your finger or anything when it's cold, it did, like, the Breaks pain off. goes through. Yes. It's awful. So you know, why would anyone want to staple anything, including their scrotum? Well, I think it's a very heartfelt political position that this man feels. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he will win? Look, he's got people talking about it, hasn't he? That's true. I mean, I mean, he wanted to draw attention to his plight, so he nailed his ball sack to the floor, and <laughs> right across the world, people are like, oh, why did he do it? And then, and then we talk about why he did it, although I don't know why he did it. I don't know why either. But now you're thinking about doing it. I'm always thinking about doing it. <laughs> Is what's, that what you're into? What's worse, do you think? Um, stapling or a stiletto? Oh, oh, stilettos are bad. Because there's a no. whole thing, you know, there's that whole fetish. And yeah, yeah, that's happens. all right. I, I mean, there are websites for that, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> so somehow that makes it okay. Yeah, as long as there's a website, <laughs> then it's not perverted. That's the rules. If, if there's a website, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of weird fetishes Yeah, out there. there are. Do you have any? I don't think so. Well, Although tell me some maybe. of them, and then I'll tell you if they're weird or not. <laughs> There's a whole fetish about people that like to dress up as furries, you know, like oh, the, yeah, that furry yeah, fetish. Yeah, yeah. Which, he's nodding. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that was very distracting. Yeah. You know about this, then. Yeah, I okay. know about it. All he's right. got his own website. <laughs> but that one intrigues me. I don't get it, but it intrigues me. Well, it's, you know, uh, not for me. No, I, I like to know what I'm dealing with, if you know what I mean. I like to know that I, I like it. I like my sexual partners to be human. That's all I'm saying. I'm sorry, you guys. Yeah, no, he, he thinks you're lying. Uh, well, he, he doesn't think much. He's still thinking about LL Cool J's yeah. lips. This is what I'm saying. Wow, I know. He anyway, carries let's... chapstick with him at all times. Does he really? Yes, he's fantastic. Did you see him chapstick in there? I totally did. I went in, I knocked on his dressing room, I'm like, I have to get a picture with you. And he was like, okay. And I said, thanks. Really, it surprises me that he would agree to that. I know. <laughs> I was going to be sharing this little cushion here with him. Yeah, yeah. And then he... Go ahead and share the cushion a little more there, will you do? That's nice. This is what my cat does when there's something stuck in I do love a cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very... Uh, it's very nice to see you again, Carrie. I, I last saw you, you at, at the talk. Uh, yes, we, we ran into each other backstage. Yeah, yes. you were very subdued and quiet when you were there. I'm sorry. No, I'm just surprised. I thought you would be in your natural element with all I those. wasn't awake yet. I'm not, it wasn't a criticism. Yeah, it was. A little bit. Yeah. No, it was nice you were kind of sleepy and like, uh, uh, like that. Hi, Craig, can we snuggle? Oh. No, I love That's going the way it went the, in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies on the talk are so great, and they've had me back a, a lot of times, yeah. and, and I always have fun when I'm over there. Um, but, yeah, then I got to see you, so it made it even better. Oh, you see, that's what made my day. <laughs> anyway. Did I distract you when you were on the talk, then? You because distract me every time you. I see you. Sometimes you distract me even when you're not in the room. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> No! Come on! Okay, a little bit. All right. All right. We're out of time. <laughs> Damn it! I know. Stop doing this to me. Just when I'm just about to get there, Ooh, you cut yeah. me off. <laughs> that's, that's how I keep you interested. <laughs> Gary Keegan, everybody, thank you very much.
Show the adorable Carrie Keegan, everybody. Carrie Keegan. The green and the black together, it's kind of, mm, it's like a fresh mint. Oh. Sexy fresh mint. Right. With chocolate on it. Uh-huh. It's a peppermint patty. Is it a peppermint patty? I guess so. It certainly is a delicious biscuit of some Whee! kind. How are you? You look good. Oh, I, can I just tell you how mad my mother is at you right now? Why? Because you're leaving. Not your mother. We're still <laughs> together. <laughs> you guys are still She'll be happy to hear that. Yeah. But there's there's nothing cool about you leaving, you know. Yes, that. there is something very cool about leaving. Explain. Well, first of all, if I you want to do something and then people say, hey, do that, and then you go, nah. And then you go, that's cool. <laughs> Did anybody else understand that? <laughs> okay, all right, good. I'm that's glad called I'm that's called flat. Well, you left the uh, buzz. Yeah, Lightyear I left. Show. Yeah. What was the, the name of the show again? Yeah, who cares? Okay. <laughs> Are you gonna do this one? Maybe I that have would to. Be nice. Have you warmed up the seat for me? Do you need a warm seat? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, you can ha you can have it. Do you want do you want to audition? Yeah. Come on in. Oh yeah, I do. All right then. If you feel you can handle the snake, then you go right ahead. Ooh. That's sparkly. Yes, it is. Wow. Yes, it is. I had no idea what late night felt like, but now I do. Well, here, no, no, you haven't even started yet, right? So I've just arrived, right? And I'm the guest. Hey, hey, hi, Jeff. Hey, uh, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> the horse over there, hey. <laughs> so, like, what's happening? Tell me, tell me about all the stuff you have going on, big projects. Yeah, I got a big project, and it's coming up right, and it's everyone in the movie loved it. Clooney was like, hi. And everyone is great. And then everyone is coming over, and then everybody in show business is nice to each other, and no one is a bastard. We know that's not true. You're pretty good at this. <laughs> and and George Clooney's getting married now. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Are you are you a little bummed out that it wasn't you? Well, get married to George Clooney. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't want to marry George Clooney? Well, straight guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have it on. Even, even straight guys want to marry very, George Clooney. Yep, very good authority that straight men also would like to have sex and marry George Clooney. You know, here's the thing, though, Gary. If if you're a man and you like having sex with another man, it there's it, a problem in describing yourself as straight. <laughs> Look, I'm not judging. I'm not judging at all. I'm, and I'm not trying to put labels on people, but, you know, it's just in the, in the way that it helps people understand what you're, what you're about and your sexuality and stuff. If you say, you know, well, I'm straight, but I'm a man and I like to have sex with other man, man you know, there, there's conflicting messages there. <laughs> What's that coming to go? <laughs> just one. Just one. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Could you say that again slower? I don't, I don't think I, I can. No, no, it's fine. But I, I do on, have a harmonica go here. On, <laughs> You're afraid I get lipstick all over. No, right? no, I'm a, I just don't think you should put my organ in your mouth. Okay. <laughs> well, in that case. <laughs> okay. I, I'm fine with wherever you want to put Wait, it. At. This the dirtiest show. Yeah, this yeah, it's, it's pretty dirty. You've I'm been pretty... fluffing the audience. You've been respecting the turtle. You were shaving the horse. Look at him over there. He yeah, can't yeah. get enough of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some nights it just goes that way. I, I, I guess know. so. I guess I'm that... glad it's the nights that I'm well, here. Well, let me ask you this. Then why is it such a popular show with your mother, Carrie Kagan? Ah, you know what? You pretty much rock. I was very clever. No. I was very clever. You have always been 
been my favorite late night guy, always. One of them? No, you have always been my the, favorite. The favorite late, well, I describe late night then. Is there earlier in the night that counts as, like Anything what? after five. So we're including Mario Lopez? I mean, I do love myself some Mario Lopez. Oh, who doesn't? But... Even straight guys want to, well, no. no, no. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Jeff, uh, one of us has got to throw, because uh, uh, Carrie is now uh, leaving her late night job. And you're doing, oh, this is it, you're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll be back with more Late Late Show after this. <laughs> yeah! yeah. in the middle of the night trying to go to the bathroom. Fell flat on her face, broke her nose in two different places, smashed her eye in the little orbit bone, whatever that is. Orbit bone, that's yes. what it's called. <laughs> that orbital yeah. thing, yeah. Can you believe that? Yeah, So yeah. I would say don't go for the colonoscopy, it's bad for because your it's a, you. Because you'll break your face? You might. <laughs> No, I, I think it's probably, you know, your, your mom probably should have, you know... Not done crack? I know, yeah. I know, but that's a totally uh, different... Anyway, well, you were together. going to tell me what you were looking for in a man. Oh, I was, wasn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you might not be going to tell me, but you're going to tell me now. You know what? I don't have a type. Really? No. Hmm. Is that bad? Should I have a type? Should I start pigeonholing people so I don't no, get anything? No, I think that, but, 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 but I mean, what kind of, what do you like to do? What do you, what do you do in your spare time? What would you like to share your interests with? Um... I have never been to the opera. So you want to go to the opera? <laughs> well, that might know. be a gay dude you're looking for now. I do have a lot of gay friends. Well, of course. They all gay. If you've got a lot of gay friends and you haven't been going to the opera, then I, I think there's... They're some, not gay enough? They're not classy enough. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Shoot. No. Okay, well, that's... What about a skeleton? Right. Looking for a skeleton friend? No, I... I, I yes. I, I was hoping that you would... <laughs> Can I, can I go over there? No, you can't go over there. No, no, no. <laughs> I can't get close. No, you can to talk him. to him. Though. Hi, Jeff. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? You like older dudes, like dead guys? <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact. I like them, I like them a, little, a bit bony, like <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> what is that noise that you're making? I have the early bird special. Yeah, I love all that, though. So I'm hanging out with people like you. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that? What are you liking, man? What are you looking for in a young fella? Cantaloupes. Mostly. Cantaloupe. You all, yeah. Oh, really? Avocado. Really? Does it is it a concern of yours? Testicle size? I mean, well, it should be, shouldn't it? Everyone should worry about these things. Because Dr. Oz says that it means you're healthy if it's a good sign. Well, right? I don't know that he necessarily. He just was saying he was talking about the design of nature because of the clickety clacks. Oh, that's that, not. That whole thing. It worries me. What, what worries you? The sound that it makes. Oh, clickety clack? Like, yes. <laughs> oh, no, they don't make much of a noise. Well, at least they shouldn't, but if they well, do, they maybe. If you they need make to see a noise, someone. then maybe your gentleman's friend's older than he's telling you. <laughs> Mine are making a noise right now. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's a bit rusty, but it's okay, it's okay. Uh. I'm just kidding with you, though. You can yeah. take a joke. I know no, you I can. can. No, I can't. <laughs> Not when it comes to my avocado. <laughs> you know that you were talking about getting a colonoscopy. My mom actually just had to go in for one. Uh, and the night before she went in, What's wrong? Why are you questioning that? I'm not questioning. I'm listening in concerned nature. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this yeah. is concern. I, okay, that face is confusing. Well, I'm trying not to look at your breasts as well. Yeah. <laughs> 
I get that a lot. Yeah, I yeah. do. I'm, yeah, I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. Well, check this out. So she, what, she was. The, it was the night before the colonoscopy. They tell you you have to not eat and sort of starve yourself and drink Gatorade and flush and do all of that. Right. She passed. Keegan, everybody. Carrie Keegan. Well, hello. Well, Carrie Keegan, how lovely to finally meet you. And good Lord, you're wearing a dress, aren't you? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you were up and awake. Well, I'm up now, I can tell you that. I'll be walking in circles for the rest of the day. Oh, what? I saw that. I saw that what you were doing that. Did you hear Dr. Ross talking about avocados? Well, I, I did. I brought my own. <laughs> I think it's a different form of produce you're sporting. It might sporting. be, but, but my, the left one is, you know... Well, that happens with lower. the ladies, too. Yeah, that's quite natural. I've noticed that in my um, research. Have you? Yeah. How closely do you research? Been so lucky, I guess. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I think it's quite natural if it was all this sort of deep, well, self examined Oh, so, it's a lovely dress. Oh, thank you, thank you very no, much. Very nice. Wait a minute, it's a different colour on the back. It is, there's a whole thing going on. Look, oh, look. look. Oh. It's cute, right? Yeah, it's very nice. It's colour blocking. It's colour blocking. Yes, it's a whole thing. I've heard about it. I heard you heard about that. Your wife is into colour blocking. She was into, well, I, she was wearing a dress and there was another bit on the bottom that was a different colour. I said, what's the bit on the other, the, on the bottom for? She said, it's colour blocking. And I was like, this make, just looks like an extra bit. No. <laughs> then, I, then I shut up. Does it confuse you? Is that, is that, is it well, hard for you to understand? Yes, a little bit. I do, you know, sometimes I think women's fashion gets a little outré for me. Yeah, well. Right. Completely. Did you watch the Oscars? Of course. Wow, what about that leg sticking out of that dress? Uh, I thought you did it better. Oh, thanks. I, uh, <laughs> I think my legs got a little more meat. Is that true? Or are you just hanging to the right? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, I meant the actual... Uh, oh, I didn't, oh, no, the actual I meant leg. the leg. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. again immediately. I, me, I'm dirty. Dr. Oz was just out here talking about all kinds of things. He's a doctor. He's a doctor. He can say anything he wants. He can say anything he wants because it's medical. Well, I found out obviously why I'm not getting any dates because I've been doing it wrong all this time. <laughs> I always thought that it was three fingers of whiskey or something along those lines. <laughs> You're not getting any dates. <laughs> I think I you wrong? told a not true thing there, no, didn't it's, you? No, it's very true. You're kidding me. No, it's very true. So, you know, I got the morning show gig. I was super excited. I'm moving to the big city. I'm going to New York. Right. And uh, they sort of forgot to tell me that it's a morning show schedule. What time do you start? I'm up at 4 and I'm in bed by 8 p.m. See, that's perfect for me. I got kids. <laughs> But it's terrible for dating. Yeah, no, I probably It's is. awful. Yeah, yeah. I end up going to restaurants at like 11.30. Why don't you come over here and find out? I think he's leaving us alone. <laughs> you guys carry on. I'm just... Uh, I'm... Will, you, will you come to New York and no, hang out with me a little bit? Right now. you got to start talking to him. He's going to fire me right now. you got to... <laughs> I phoned him. No. You, you like New York, Annie? You enjoy New I York? I love New York. You, know, you like the I, you smell of uh, what? Pee pee. In the summertime, it's yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, a little bit. Sort what of part of New York do you live in? Waft. I live in the middle of Times Square. Li I know. And nobody actually lives in the middle of Times Square, but I do. Are you a homeless person? <laughs> I do like to hang out on the corner of 42nd, but don't judge me. I'm not That's... judging you. I do not judge here. Love all the people I say. <laughs> I used to live in New York. You did? Yeah, way back when, you know, horses and carriages and stuff. And <laughs> I used to live downtown. Oh, there's a picture of that yeah. in my building. Yeah. There was like one building in the middle of Times That's Square. Right. And That's... that was you waving. That was me the there. I was like, <laughs> We used to wear our pants up to here and we rode big, big bicycles, one big giant front wheel and one tiny wheel behind it. Just like our testicles were like that as well. One giant one, one little one. And we go around in circles. Do you have a bicycle? I don't. 
I gave away rollerblades. I haven't what had a bicycle. What do you mean you give away rollerblades? Actually, my rollerblades got stolen out of my car a million years ago. And that was the last time. I think a valet stole them. The valet stole your rollerblades? Lame, maybe, right? Maybe, no, maybe he needed them because you have to go and get the car and come back. And go and get the car and come back. But then he shouldn't have gotten tipped and I obviously tipped him and now I'm pissed. You're quite a cranky woman, aren't you? <laughs>